Hello everyone, this is Pop Potter here, and today I'm going to be showing you basically the new plugins feature on the control panel. I've had a lot of people actually really excited because it's awesome. You can just do one tap installs of plugins from a mobile device. You don't need a computer, FTP access, anything like that, like the other services. So I'm going to go ahead and go to hosting.popotty.com. Now, if you haven't already gotten a server, um, you just click on get server, of course, it's pretty obvious, and choose your plan, enter username, check out, it's done. It can take up to 24 hours to fill your order, as it says there, but that's not really a big deal. Usually it's much faster. We just guarantee within 24 hours, just in case there's an issue, you know, that it take up that take up to that long. So, all right, so I'm going to log in here, and I'm going to, when I'm logging in, I'm probably going to have to edit this video real quick and cover up what I'm typing in, because I don't think I want everyone in my account that should work. Okay, so here's the dashboard. Dashboard's useless, really. It's, it means nothing right now. So you click on the little button on the top right and click on server. That's where you're going to get all the information you need. You have your server IP. All this will be generated automatically. You don't have to do anything to get this information. You just, once you have your account, you're logged in. Boom, here it is. So you got your server name. Message of the day. That's what happens when you join your server. The message of the day will be on there. So it will say, Welcome, Pop Pots here. Welcome, Barry, welcome, whatever, whatever your name is. So you got the whitelist, the classic stuff that you should have. The ops list is really cool now, and so is the whitelist and stuff the same. Because if I edit, I'm the admin, right? So I paid for this account. So if my name's Pop Potsy and I accidentally mess it up, I delete it, or somebody else deops me, and I add my friends uh, Jerry with a G, Beanie, and it's just messy. I add them all over the place and I hit save and restart, it will reformat everything and add Pop Potty back to the list to make sure I am not removed. So, it's quite nice actually, really quite quite interesting. Now, plugins is of course what everybody cares about. So we just added the new features and things. So all you have to do is tap a checkbox, hit save and restart, and you've got the plugins. Now, some people have asked, you know, oh, well, well, there's not that many plugins though. Well, we just released this, and there's an approval process. Really easy. So let's say you want a plugin called Dinosaurs or whatever it's called. And all, you know, all you have to do is send in a ticket to support or email them. I'll have all the links in the description how to contact support and say, hey, can you add this plugin? We'll go and review it and see if it's malicious, bad, it's got problems, if it's gonna hurt your server. If it's not gonna do anything bad, then we'll go ahead and approve it, and send it in, and it will be available to all users for Pop Policy servers. Meaning that if you ask, if you request Dinosaur plugin, to be added to the control panel. It, if it's approved, it will be available to every user on Pop Artsy's servers. So once it's approved, it's universally approved. It's really awesome. So we've approved, I think we've approved, I don't think we've ever actually denied one so far. It's only been a day, literally, that this plugin stuff has been going. So to show you an example, I wanna show you guys how it all works. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck everything, uninstall all the plugins. And what's nice is that most of the services, in fact, all of them use Multicraft and it requires computers, FTP access, all this techie stuff to install plugins, where ours just requires a mobile device, any device really. So, as you can see, I have no plugins. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into Minecraft here, and I'm going to join my server, called Pop Potsy, and it's just going to take a second to load, and you'll see that I have no plugins. I still have basic commands, I can do basic stuff to my server, just like any server with Pop Potsy systems. Um, let's see, welcome Pop Potsy, thank you. Thank you so much. And it's lagging for a second because it's loading this whole world instantly on my iPad mini. It's kind of crazy. This world is not really a real world. It's mostly for testing and showing how things work on Pop Potsy's um, hosting. So, let me see. If I do slash help, you'll see I have six pages of commands. All these different things I can do. Slash slash does not work. I do not have world edit yet. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. Exit out and go back to the control panel. I'm going to orient the screen properly so you guys can see what's happening. Now I'm going to edit, I'm going to add simple auth. Um, let's see. Uh, world editor. And should I add anything else right now? I'm trying to decide. Maybe, maybe simple worlds. We'll do simple worlds as well. Because so all you do is hit save and restart after you've checked the boxes of the plugins you want to enable. Again, I want to emphasize if you want a plugin that is not available on the control panel, all you have to do is send in a request and we will run it through the approval process. Maximum of 24 hours. It's not Apple's baloney where it takes seven days. It, it's, oh, it's only a day, if that. 
usually requests are accepted within minutes to hours, um, especially if you tweet them to the Potpotsy LLC company account. Now, as you can see, it's got this configure button. So let's say I want to configure uh, simple auth. I'll click configure, click config.yaml, YML, and there you go. You've got different, edit, different like settings for it. So allow chat, false. Don't allow chat until everyone you're signed in. Um, timeout, 60 seconds. So after 60 seconds, if you haven't logged in, it kicks you off the server. Different things like that you can do. So now I've enabled all these three plugins. So I'm going to switch back to Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm going to join my server here. And you're going to see kind of how it works. You're going to see my plugins are enabled. And I'm going to show you kind of a little bit how they work, I guess. You can kind of play with them yourselves. If you don't have a server, seriously, you should get one because they are awesome. So this is simple off here. And I logged in right before. So here I am using simple auth. And let me try. I, I enabled world edit. So slash slash to show me world edit commands. There you go. Boom. If I do slash slash wand, it will give me a wand. Oh, I already have a wand. Wonderful. I already have the wand. So I can do things like, let me show you as a command you can use when enabling world edit. This stuff is cool. Let's say I pick this block. Okay, I break that block, and then I tap this block, okay? The hoe is still here, it just kind of goes off the bar. Now, let's say I do slash slash replace sand with grass or something, I don't know. Then boom, it will replace all the blocks I selected from sand to grass. So there's some really cool plugins you can do to manipulate your world and play with your friends, make some really cool builds and creations. It's really super smooth. Obviously, it's a little choppy because I'm recording right now and because my iPad is generating some things. But, I mean, as far as the server goes, they're still they have no lag. You know, they're the best, smooth uh, smoothest servers you're going to find. Um, what else did I enable just now? I enabled um, Simple Worlds. So, I can do SW and I can use Simple Worlds. So, I can have unlimited worlds on my server and I can switch between them. So, let's do... Um, what should I do? Simple Worlds... Let's do SW, generate, I've never actually done this before, I just know it works. <laughs> People have shown me, seed zero, generator, I think flat is a generator you can use. Oh wait, no, that's not going to work. Wait, that doesn't make sense, I don't know what I named the world. What did I name it? Let's do, uh, slash SW load, uh, Flat, is that what I named the world? No, that's not right. Something happened. Okay, SW... I've never used this, guys. I'm serious. Um, SW generate uh, seed zero. I don't know why. Flat is the type of world. And we'll name it hop. Okay? Now, it should build the world, I think. Now, if I do slash load hop slash SW, sorry, load hop, then I do slash tp w for world, world hop, sorry about that, my, my Twitter keeps keeps doing this, now I just teleported to the, to the other world, the world hop, so here I am, it's going to be, those are the structures from before, it's going to be um, generating this, this whole area, so it should be clearing up what it had before, so, and you can have different friends on different worlds, and all kinds of stuff. It's really quite a cool plug, and I know a lot of people that use it. All the real big builders and stuff use it. It's a very helpful thing, especially if you want a world with a lobby, and then you want to have another world for actually playing, or you want a world for your close friends, and you want another world for the public. You can do all kinds of things with this plugin. So, those are the three I enabled, but there's tons more you can use, of course. And you can switch back to the other world by doing slash tpw colon world. So you can make infinite worlds, there's no limit on Papati servers. It's not going to cost any more money. You never have to worry about overages or charges or anything. You just pay the simple amount. You have access to support, to unlimited plugins, everything you want. So I'm going to go ahead and go out of there, go back to the control panel page, and see if it actually loads. Safari's kind of being stupid. What? It doesn't exist, really, because I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> okay, let me go back. I'm going to backspace it. Potpotsy.com, sign in. For some reason, I think it signed me out. 
Okay, let me go back in. Sorry, guys. I'm going to also have to cover up the screen again, sort of like, so you guys can't see the password. Not that I don't trust all of you, but, <laughs> you know, you know, it's basic stuff here. So server, plugins, and I can configure those plugins. I can enable trampolines with it. I'm not kidding. I played on a trampoline today, first time ever, and it was bloody fun. Those things bounce. You can change how high they bounce. They can bounce so high, and you just you just like play on trampolines. It seems stupid. I actually laughed when I first heard about it. Someone asked for trampolines. I'm like, really? Trampolines? Like, what? What's the point? It is actually way fun. So I recommend installing that. Timer bans in case you want to ban someone for like a day. You can ban them for 24 hours, whatever. There's tons of plugins. Make sure when you get your server that you go and request plugins. Don't hesitate, you know, request a ton of plugins from my support team. They'll review them, approve, and this thing, the database will grow, grow, grow till it's crazy. And you can just install it by clicking a simple button. It's so easy and fast. And then, as you can see, after I saved and restart, I went over to Minecraft, instantly clicked, instantly it was done. It only took a split second to install the plugins and do all that stuff. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you guys got the information you wanted in regards to this plugin section. I'll be making more videos on new features that come out soon. We've been doing a lot of optimizations and making things really smooth. So thanks again guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow in another Minecraft Pocket Edition video.